<laughs> oh well, here we go again with Doug. Detail it. So, how many of you guys out there wash trailers or boats or even full size pickups, crew cabs, lifted trucks? Lifted trucks can be a pain in the butt. Uh, big rigs, anybody? How about the brush? Do you guys use these, you know, flag tip brushes? Have you ever used a boar's hair brush? Yeah, I have. I've used everything out there. They're all going to kind of scratch the paint. So what's the solution? The solution is the Mid on a Stick Pro by Auto Fiber. So let's check this out. And thank you, Merrill at uh, Auto Fiber. I really appreciate you sending me this kit. This is the Dragon. They make the noodle um, no cuff kind of head on it too, but I prefer the Dragon. So I don't know how they knew I preferred the Dragon. Um, maybe they just guessed and maybe that one gets better reviews. But I said it a couple months ago in one of my shorts. I think this is the best wash pad on the market, the Dragon. So thank you, Merrill, for sending me the, the uh, Mid on a Stick Pro with the Dragon cover. Uh, you know what? Before we get this wet, let's do this. Let me set you guys up and we'll talk just a brief minute about some of the features on this one over the other Mid on a Stick. The other mid on a stick was good, I had it, but it wasn't great. And that's not a bag on um, auto fiber. But what it is, uh, the other mid on a stick didn't swivel at all. So here, let me show you this. Hopefully that'll be a good angle right there. I'm gonna have to bring you guys back a little bit. I don't wanna be out of the picture. Let's do that. Hopefully that's far enough. So. This one, the way they made it, there's an adjustment right here that if you turn it, it locks the head this way. If you turn it a quarter of a turn back the other way, where it's in line with these hinges, this will then move, okay? Hugely important. The last bit on the stick was like at that angle and you couldn't move it. You couldn't adjust it, it wouldn't move. That's it, you're stuck like this. So if you didn't have your hands up like this, hitting the flats of your, uh, automotive, automotive <laughs> your automobile, you were barely getting a little portion of that pad. Let's see if we can lock this one. You were barely getting a little portion of that pad on the surface you wanted to wash. You couldn't get it flat unless you were above the head of the stick, right? So this one's a much better design. You have two adjustments, that one, and then you have this button here, which allows that head to swivel this way. So you've got I don't know how this is gonna go. It's the first time using it. I may opt to just have this swivel and not this swivel. That seems like a lot of movement to handle on a panel. It's gonna take some getting used to, but an awesome, awesome design. Another thing they did is they give you a padded pole with a little angle. I don't know, it's a 15 or 30 degree angle. This is bent down and it's padded. It comes with foam padding and it comes in sections that just screws on. And it's very strong. I didn't think it was going to be strong when I saw it came in sections. I was like, oh, man. It's very strong the way they designed it. So you have this shaft here that fits down in here. And then you have the stud that screws in deeper. See? So you're like a knuckle deep before this shank screws in down here even further. And it's multi-sectional. You can add, I don't know, three or four sections on this. This comes... 61 inches this way and then you can buy extensions which i'll be buying two more maybe three more extensions for it um because i do a um, rv conversion once or twice a year and i do a double decker race car trailer i don't know if you understand what that is it's where they take two uh, race cars or whatever and they have an elevator so it's a very tall trailer looks like a semi but even taller um it's crazy Actually, I don't know how much taller because it is a permit. Uh, they have to use it under permit only. So it's, it's massive. That's all I'm saying. Flat sided. Um, this might be enough to reach the top, but I'll probably need two more extensions. So I will be buying those. Um, anyway, let's just get to it. I'm going to have to mix up some soap in my cannon. Put some soap on this truck. I'll give you an overview of what it looks like. It's pretty tore back right now. Um, so it needs a wash. This is my beater. I call it my beater truck. And it's very dirty. It hasn't been washed in a couple weeks. Let's get to it. So what I'm gonna do is just soak my mid on a stick 
in the bucket. Oh, I'm going to need a five-gallon bucket for that. All right. Well, this is good, though. We do this live so you guys can see. So you got to get a five-gallon bucket. Well, it went under the water. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just see how this works. Okay. Bear with the pressure washer, guys. It's literally three feet to your left. And I get some complaints about that. It's noisy. And I'm sorry about that. Kind of pre-soaking the... I've got leaf stains on my hood. This stuff smells like bubble gum. Uh, don't try it unless you want to be addicted to it. Or I mean, this isn't bubble gum. This one's great. Great. I had one that was bubble gum, but uh, my daughter stole it. She's like, oh, that smells like bubble gum. I want to use it. Okay, so gave it to the daughter. What are you going to do? All right, here we go, guys and gals. Here we go. try this mid on a stick pro and see what happens still again guys look this combination right here is awesome if you're doing some stainless tanks or something even older I've used this in all transparency on this truck because this paint job hasn't been cleaned up and I don't think I'm ever going to clean it up anyway it will scratch guys so don't do this on a show car definitely not this this mid on a stick you could definitely do on a show car because it's basically a Korean made microfiber, um, I don't even know what they call those little fingers in there, chenille mitt um, called the dragon, which check them out at autofiber.com. Here we go. This might be tricky, so go ahead and laugh with me. And that's heavy, you don't even need to press on this. Just saturating that dragon in the soapy water is pretty heavy. So this actually will keep you from scratching your paint because you're not really going to bear down onto it like you would a brush. A brush you have a tendency, at least I do, to scrub. This thing is really heavy when it's uh, saturated with soapy water. And yes, I'm going to have to hit this hood again simply because of this thing like this. Like bird poop you do or something. You got some staining on the hood. And that's why I hate parking it under a tree all week. Oh well. Thank goodness it's my hoop deck. Oh yeah, I'm in love with this thing already. Man. <laughs> so this is amazing. I thought it was going to be hard to control the multi-swivel aspects of this. But it's amazing. I love it. Let me go ahead and rinse that real quick. Alright guys, I'm not going to bore you with that. Let's use it again, see if some of the staining will come up after it's set. Man, I love this thing. Be a time saver on big vehicles, especially RVs. If you guys are RVers, um, what are you waiting for? I'd grab one of these, mid on a stick pro. Dude, <laughs> I love it. Hey, that thing is so cool. I might even wash my truck every day. It's just fun to mess with. But anyway, there you have it, guys. So, Mid on a Stick Pro, Auto Fiber. They have everything from applicators, towels, mitts. Uh, what else do they have? Um, I think they have the, is it KXK sanding blocks? They have a ton of stuff. Check them out. Ton of good quality microfibers. And guys, gals, 
it's not that all microfiber is the same because it's not. It's all boiling down to the yarns. And Ian and Merrill, they make sure that they use quality yarns. I don't know all the aspects about it, but go to autofiber.com and they can educate you all about microfibers and the differences. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. I got to finish this, then do mama's car, and then uh, live to see another day. See you next week. Thanks a lot.